Good evening, Honorable Mayor Mr. Hong Joon Lee, Superintendent of Education Mr. Brendan Lee, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, and concerned parents. My name is Patrick Guilfoyle, the president of CASA, or Citizens Against Smartphone Addiction. I'm sure you're all shocked and saddened and really angry with the recent suicide of a first grade high school student in Pusan. In the student's suicide letter, she stated that she couldn't live without her smartphone. When her parents took away her phone, she said she could no longer chat with her friends in cacao chat rooms. The police examined her cacao chat records and discovered that she spent an average of three hours a day between the hours of 12 and 3 a.m. and sending out more than 100 text messages. Many of these messages were with an adult above the age of 18. Police say that the adult is now under investigation. Though tragic, such news doesn't surprise many people anymore. We know the case in November 2010 of the boy in Pusan who killed his mother and then himself because she scolded him for playing too many online games. The situation with smartphones and online game addiction has gotten out of control. Currently, South Korea boasts about 35 million smartphone users. As the number of smartphone users increase, smartphone addiction is becoming a frightening reality. A CASA survey conducted on 1,000 elementary through first year university students found that 50% use their smartphones more than five hours a day and 68% of, of themselves uh, as addicted to their phones. This social epidemic must stop. So therefore, we announce that we have launched a lawsuit against E.J. Bum and E. Sergu, co-CEOs of Kakao Corporation. It is clear that Kakao Talk, with 90 million users and 5 billion messages daily, has truly become a platform for hosting games and other content. We strongly recommend that Kakao adopt the following three policies. One, contribute $1 million annually to a cyber counseling fund. Two, require all users under the age of 19 to provide their national ID number when downloading the application. And three, establish a maximum usage policy for youth under 19. Right now, I would like to open the floor to questions. When I call your number, please state your name and what press organization you represent. Also, please keep questions short. So please hold your numbers. And the first person I see I would like to ask is our, the first question is for the Honorable Mayor of Pusan, Mr. Hong Joon Lee. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you please ask your mm -hmm. question? So everything has good side and bad side. Since car was invented, so many people died because of accident. But no one say, let's destroy all the cars. It is really certain if we use cacao, our business will be exploded and it will be growing again and again. If we make some regulation on them, I'm really worried Busan economy, especially focusing on software industry, will be decreasing. I understand you. your point, Mr. Mayor. And the thing is, you made an analogy with cars. With cars, we have licenses and we have rules of the road and we have police. 
Now, with people under 19, they are very vulnerable. And I believe that, uh, I mean, for example, someone in high school can enter a bar. So certainly there should be some uh, rules and some um, way to control uh, their use of such chat rooms. Okay, the, thank you. The next person I would like to ask, uh, to give a, a chance to ask me a question is Mr. Brendan Lee, the Superintendent of Education for the City of Pusan. Thank you for coming today, sir. Okay, first of all, with the use of smartphones, many schools are strapped for cash and many parents are buying smartphones for their children. As a school, as schools are struggling to meet the needs and demands and tools necessary to use uh, technology more easily and more intuitively within the classroom, smartphones have become an essential tool for learning in everyday classrooms. However, you forgot to mention one important point. With smartphones, parents are able to set controls and locks. A quick Google search on any manual will instruct parents on how to lock them. You, sir, are blaming a corporation for parents who are not taking responsibility for their own children's actions. I am a parent, and I have two children, and I know many people who are not familiar how to use such functions. If Kakao Corporation is a good corporate citizen, it will do its best to inform the people. If, if what you say is true, and I, and I trust you, then they, it is their duty to try to educate the people and have some kind of education campaign. Certainly there are good points to uh, smartphones, and I'm sure uh, that uh, they can be used uh, for good purposes in schools. Thank you very much. The next person, or the next, uh, I would like to give a chance to reporter number one. My name is Jinjuri. I am a reporter for the Busan Info. Isn't it true that you purchased 10 Sony games last year? Uh, actually, I don't see the relevance of your question, but it was 12 games. They were gifts for several relatives. Furthermore, they are strictly uh, supervised when they play. And I'm looking at uh, the time. I have a very important uh, appointment. I'm going to have to uh, cut this um, interview uh, short, this press conference. But I would like to uh, say something. That CASA recognizes that CACO has some good points. But I, we believe that the bad outweigh the good. I hope we can work together instead of going to court. Let's, uh, Kakao, let's work together face to face and deal with this problem. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen.